Aaron Hankin here from public radio station WYPR. Through Out of the Blocks, I've gotten a chance to explore a lot of different parts of Baltimore. Baltimore looks like this. And it also looks like this. Who gets which Baltimore depends on a lot of factors, but a lot of it depends on race. White, wealthier people get clean air, rocky streams, open space, while people of color often live in neighborhoods without green space, or grocery stores, lots of concrete, boarded up row houses. These areas are oftentimes in places where factories and power plants spew pollution, and that is not by accident. Industries often choose to build in neighborhoods where they think people won't speak up or their voices won't be heard. And then those groups of people are likely to become more sick. Asthma, <coughs> emphysema, cancer, <coughs> premature births, these risks are higher for people of color in urban areas. Why are only some people forced to bear the costs for the modern conveniences we all enjoy? Fighting for the rights of clean air and clean water for all people is called environmental justice. But those who are battling for their lives are also battling for someone to hear their story. Often, reporters in newsrooms aren't from their communities and don't know about the decades of discrimination that had led to our communities becoming divided. With the Environmental Justice Journalism Initiative, we're taking back our story and we're mentoring young people to tell their own. We teach journalism skills and we apply them to the worlds of activism, politics, reporting and editing, leadership, and the law. Working with our partners at the National Aquarium and Clergy United for the transformation of Sandtown, we're building engaged, active, and prepared students to build a better environment and a better world. Get involved today. We could use your help. To donate, please visit EJJI.org. Our environment, our story, EJJI. The more we get, the more we can give.